Chester Watson takes the new ball immediately after T and takes good advantage of it to bowl a maiden over to Alan Davidson. But the crowd's in store for sensations galore in Hall's first over with the new ball. First, Mackay forces him away to backward square leg for a single. And now, Watson's first wicket and Australia 8 for 251. Every ticket had been sold, but the local Barbadians, who hadn't managed to get one, were determined not to miss the second day's play. West Indies were all up for 265, not an enormous total by their standards. It was still there, but the sixth was simply unplayable. Boycott out for a gap. The most prized wicket had been taken. The over went mad. Boycott rates held on the fastest bowling. to do it with. The third played in Sydney, so they went to Adelaide with the series square. Having won the toss, Worrell chose to bat. The Webb's bowling to Ken Mackay. Mackay is out LBW to Gibbs for 29, and the Australian total 6 for 281 with Grouse the new batter. Gibbs bowls his next ball to Grout. Grout edges and Sobers takes the catch at leg split. Australia 7 for 281 and Frank Misson interfaced the hat. Gibbs bowls. Misson is beaten and bowled and Lance Gibbs has taken the first ever hat trick in Australia West Indies test match. A triumphant moment for the young off spinner. And the Australian captain is on hand with his congratulations too. In their second innings, Carl. Mackay is out LBW to Gibbs for 20 drafts. Route edges and Sobers takes the catch at leg slip. Australia Jason is beaten and bowled and Lance Gibbs is taken.
Great shot. Four runs. A beautiful strike. Two men after it, neither able to cut it off, and a very good shot from Melbourne Kalicharan. Mallet to Kalicharan. Nice shot. Beautiful time. Never left the ground for the moment. He met it with the full face of the bat. He got it away between mid on and mid wicket. Neither McCosker nor Thompson had the slightest chance. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. again four more <laughs> that's a hook for four and it's third bounce three fours in this over two authentic hooks one off the edge they're getting delirious now. Three balls, all gone for four. And he's done it again. Four more. My goodness. the slow bowlers or the fast men Lily again that's a beautiful hit magnificent hit picked up from roundabout leg stump and it's gone a good catch a good delivery too Andy Roberts, Greenwich at second slip, and a fine catch out Australia now, two for 26, Ian Chupp. And he's gone, first ball. Roberts is on a hat-trick, great bowling from the West Indian speedster. He's a perfectly pitch bouncer. The Chappell's gone with successive balls. Andy Roberts has done it for the West Indies, and what delight there is. Last hat trick in Adelaide was Lance Gibbs. In fact, I stood at the other end and watched it. No better place to be when there's a hat trick on. Now Andy Roberts now. The last ball of his sixth over. Bowl him! Andy Roberts breaks through with a good delivery. Board are trying to drive and drive as clean as a whistle. That delivery from Roberts looked like a leg cutter. Clive Long. Magnificent hook shot out of the ground. Superb shot there by Lloyd. The West Indian crowd on their feet. No doubt at all about that shot. Still almost and hammered it away through mid-off for four. And he's dropped him. A let off there for Clive Lloyd, a disappointed Edwards. That's a fine shot, four runs. Just straying in direction. So the hundred comes up now for the West Indies. It's also the 50 partnership between Lloyd and Kenai in only 49 minutes. And Kenai's made only six of them, so the whole thing dominated this morning by Clive Lloyd. Straight, straight down the ground, landing just inside. 
flashing cover drive typical of the man the bat raised the crowd on their feet and what a delightful exhibition this has been by Clive Lloyd you couldn't really wish to see a better hundred than that in any form of cricket a hundred made out of 190 for three and the whole of Lords on their feet applauding this man whether you're a neutral whether you're a West Indian or an Australian nobody can fail to appreciate it his hundred coming in exactly a hundred minutes of only 82 balls, including two sixes and 12 glorious bounds. What a marvellous catch. Geoffrey Dujon has made tremendous ground there to catch Chris Broad. The first wicket goes down in the England innings for 101. The Wobble must be gone. This is a very fast over from Marshall, and he was through Gower's defence there. 106 for two. Reached the ropes 14 times. And this time it's touch. Touch of fast. Maybe a good runner. Coming back to the third. Oh dear, oh dear, that could be a six. That's a great hit. Straight down the ground, over one on. What a magnificent fire. In Brisbane, he struck Dottomate over mid-off. In Perth, he goes over one on. Superb strike. Vivian Richards is five away from his century. After starting in rather tentative fashion yesterday, had some lovely shots towards the end. And he's going to pick up more runs towards the century, and this could be a four. Long chase here for Hughes. He won't get there. That's Richards, 99. And that's it, 23rd test century for Vivian Richards. No nervous 90s for the great player. Four in a single, second 50. Magnificent runs. Strikes to all parts of the ground. Fine ovation for a great player. And he's chopped that away for four more. Over the head of the gully fielder deliberately. And it's been raining for us here. And that's not short of the length. That is almost a long hop to Viv Richards in this mood. And he just swatted it over square leg as if it was the easiest thing in the world. And he's lifted that over the top of long off, and that's a big hit. That's a huge hit for six by Richards. That is a magnificent stroke. And that's gone down to a long on over the head of Lawson, who is not right at the fence. And it crashes into the fence. Umpires are looking, and it looks as if it's another six. Four. Well done, and beautifully battered as well. Lawson has claimed the wicket, Vivian Richards is gone, but what a great innings. Absolutely magnificent entertainment. 
Alan Border brought in the man from Long On before that delivery. Saying to Richards, if you want to have a dash down the ground, you can do so. And a standing ovation. Well, ball, he's balled him. That's a beautiful Yorker. Well, he's been trying for a while to slip one to the guard of Yorker. Spacing, not get off the mark. Oh, and he's gone. Well, Garner has knocked the off stump right out of the ground. He did the same thing up in Brisbane, but on that occasion, Kepler Vessels wasn't playing a shot. On this occasion, he was... Off the edge, in the air, Vivian Richards under it, and the first Australian wicket has fallen. Joel Garner's first over. What a beautiful piece of bowling. It was well caught, but that was a lethal delivery. Very few batsmen in the world could have handled it. Well, that's a good delivery. Richie Richardson grabs it, and Smith doesn't even wait for the umpire's decision. He walks. And what a nasty delivery. I think that was even worse than the one that Graham Woodcock. Joel Garner is flat out. That's more like the Gordon Greenwich of old. Beat that ball, Gordon. It's none for 34. Greenwich is certainly unloading his hook shots now. He was out the one in the first innings. That's a nice way to bring up your half century. Jones can't save it. Very good innings from Gordon Greenwich. There's the 100 partnership for... Greenwich and Haynes, that's number 16, and they're seventh against Australia. That runs through, and that could be the 100 for Gordon Greenwich. The ball races away to the cover boundary. The local crowd are very happy with their local hero. The 19th test century for Gordon Greenwich. And a great comeback for somebody who's been under a lot of pressure throughout the series. That's a cracking shot. It's the one where he was dismissed in the first innings. It's a little stroke he plays away on the onside. Just helps it around a bit. Not a pull shot and it's not a hook. Oh, good shot. They won't even need to get onto the practice pitches to run away for four. This is looking ominous, I can tell you. Oh, he's really hit that. He really punched out through the offside. It's a boundary to Greenwich. Well, Greenwich has started to really open back out again. Two consecutive boundaries has brought the crowd back to life. Ball doesn't go as easily to the boundary at the southern end as it does up here. That's Greenwich's 150 nevertheless. It's the sixth time he's uh, passed that figure in test cricket. There's no joy there though. A variety from Gordon Greenwich as well. And that takes Gordon Greenwich just a little bit further up that chart we just saw. Brings up his 190. He didn't get that off the middle, but it's gone far enough and fast enough to bring up the double hundred. Greenwich's fourth double century. They've 
214 against England at Lords in 84. 223 against England Old Trafford the same year. 213 against New Zealand and 201 against Australia here. Still recognises a half volley very quickly. And Greenwich has put that away quite easily and now becomes the highest scorer for the West Indies in Test cricket against Australia. Full credit to them. That's very close. Picked the wrong one to play across. And Murph Hughes has removed the man who has played so well. 226. Great inning. He's signaling to the crowd. I don't, I don't know if he's saying this is his last innings uh, in a test match here. But he's saying thank you to the crowd. This is Vivian Richards. Well, that'll bring back some memories of 1994. And that'll be it. Here's a 44th Test Match Half Century. Got it very fine. Now, Harmonson will have a chase, but he won't get there. That's a very fine shot by Lara. He's got it away and that's it. That's going to be Brian Lara's 25th Test 100. Wonderful shot. Well, David Lloyd called it. Looks very much as if there's a lot more to come. It's 154, Brian Lara. He's off and running on one of those marathon innings once again. Lara is down the ground. That's going to be his first six. There it is. Acclaim all around the ground from supporters of both teams and supporters of neither. He's down the track this time. Go and look for that one. And that's gone away for four. 250 for Brian Lara. That was hit hard. No one can say that he dropped that, but it, that was hit very hard. Theoretically, a catch that's about it. There he goes. That's a 300 for Lara. He'll get there comfortably. Second triple century for Brian Lara, and is he happy? It took him a long time to get runs in the series. There's a gap there, and Lara's found it. 3.23. Oh, he's looking for the second. Butcher is the man coming in from deep mid-wicket. He can't get there in time. So, Brian Lara reaches another milestone. 350 not out. Great shot. That's gone a long, long way. One more. There it is. The world record has fallen once again to Brian Charles Lara of Trinidad and Tobago and the West Indies. The second time in his career that he's broken this record. And what a moment of history this is, a repeat performance. Ten years ago, he set it, and he's done it again at the very ground. That's, That's a, a nice shot. shot.
There it goes, down to Harmison again, 399, Lara will have the strike. Batty to Lara, there goes the sweep, there it is. Perhaps the most significant single ever in the history of Test Match Cricket, Brian Charles Lara becomes the first man in the history of the game to register a score of 400. Oh, a little nick and that's it, and up the arms of Courtney Walsh. His 300th test wicket has come at last. It seemed an endless wait for him. 300 wickets, an absolute totem pole of an achievement. Applause now, sticking right around the gun. Maybe in the record books, at least Courtney Walsh's record books, and this is how it happened. But Courtney Walsh is going to remember this for a long time. Just the top edge of the back there, and Courtney Brown did not have any mistakes. So two Courtney's involved, but I think the one that's most important is Courtney Walsh. 300 test wickets at 24.82. Tremendous effort. Certainly achieved something as only two West Indies have done so far. Beside him, that's Lance Gibbs and Michael Marshall. Former Australian test player Bruce Yardley as a disgrace. Even before Arjuna Ranatunga lost the toss, they contemporarily utilizing the conditions for which he had to thank the groundsman, dispatched Mahamana, Arnold and Aravinda de Silva for 23. And that play should not start before tea, but the umpires would not abide their protests. Their fears were quickly realized. an easy catch. Walsh, Bishop and Rose, more than they ought to have done on such a pitch. The end was notable for Ambrose's 300th test wicket, his fifth and the last of the innings. He had been stalled at 295 since the third test match against Indian Barbados six weeks earlier and it was appropriate that he reached the landmark in front of his fellow Antigans. First to congratulate him was Walsh, one of the three West Indians who had previously attained the landmark. The West Indies started solidly now. At the bustling, their first three wickets again fell cheaply to Ambrose, including Jaya Saria, third ball. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Behind square on the offside. No nervous start for this young man. Chand the ball, it's just an edge, and it's four. Well, that's exactly why England should be bowling as much as possible at the youngsters, Chand the ball. Uh, he never got forward there, quite circumspect, and it just went off the edge. He never really got forward, he fell into the shot. Left-handers really causing England major problems. Yes! He's found the gap. Shot of catch, low full toss, and Chandapal finds the gap between mid-wicket and mid-on. Straight down the ground, another full toss. This little boy isn't making any sport with full tosses. He's been back into the attack. And that'll take Chanderpaul to a maiden test match 50. His first outing for the West Indies. No wonder he's got a smile on his face. And 
and on home home territory here in Georgetown Guyana plenty of his compatriots out there to greet him his family there delighted as well mother sister I don't know how many of those are close relatives but they can't get enough of them and that's not exactly what Sidnerine Chandler Paul want at this stage